What's good here, pack of weirdos? Hope you're having a fantastic day. And of course, most importantly, staying safe. We are back with another career of a 99. I was going to do right and or left end, but I just didn't want to do it, man. We've done two defensive players, time to go to offense. Thought what better place to start than a wide receiver? If you're new around here, basically we're going to go find ourselves the guy with the best name, make him 99, and then follow his entire 15 year career. Last year when we did this in Madden 19, we absolutely destroyed every single record and everybody said they would rather our guy than Jerry Rice. Jerry Ramsey. I already like that because this could potentially be the brother of Jalen Ramsey. So I've already made up my mind. He's a fifth rounder projected in the fourth, which is rare. Normally uh, we scout somebody and they drop down to undrafted. So that's a good start. Let's go ahead and make him about six foot five. Same as Megatron. Holy crap. His arms are huge, bro. <laughs> what? They put it on seven arm death. I love doing the wide receiver ones because it could go any way. Think about it. If he goes to a team with a crappy quarterback, then his career's going to turn out like crap. He has to have a goat quarterback. If that hail guy that went to the Saints from the linebacker one was in his class, it'd be a wrap, bro. All right, moment of truth. This is going to determine a lot for our boy's career. The Browns, the Brownies, mate. The Odell Beckham Jr. special, the Browns. They got him in the fourth round as well. What an absolute steal. I forgot to make him 20. I'm going to go do that right now. Did he grow dreadlocks? I, I'm almost certain he didn't have dreadlocks before. Bro, if Baker Mayfield does not throw for 4,000 yards this season minimum, something is messed up. This is a match made in heaven. I'm glad he went to the Browns. We're going to keep him with double me. He's also got evasive and short out elite. Go ahead and change that to deep in elite and deep out elite. This will mean whether he's inside or outside the numbers, it will not matter. He will moss people. Also, what is going on with his hair? All right, we made the playoffs. Let's see how far we can take this before we check out these stats. Okay. Okay, first year Super Bowl. This is what I'm saying. This is what we needed. You're lucky, Baker. You're very close to not hitting 4K. MVP going to go to Russell Wilson. Nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. DeMarco Wilbon. Oh, no, this is, this is hail all over again, isn't it? Okay, so we're not on offensive player at all. Nick Chubb and Baker both make it though. Offensive rookie, gonna go to Tyrone Betts? Bro. Okay, this is so rigged. In our first season, we had a thousand yards, seven touchdowns, average 63.8 a game. How is that not offensive rookie of the year numbers? This is the guy who won offensive rookie. 426 and nine touchdowns. Get out of my face, bro. This game is rigged. Oh, we lost. Wait, we won. Oh, okay. I, I get what it's saying now. <laughs> we lost. So we currently only have a 216 legacy score. You know what I mean? We won the AFC championship, but still just, they don't give any love to somebody with a thousand yards. It's like anybody can do that, right? Okay. This year we go 13 and three. So we get a first round by no wild cards for the Brownies. Oh, this is a matchup. Not only a division rival, but he stole the guy, the running back. Stole rookie from us. Correct. Made the Super Bowl two years in a row. That's two AFC championships. And we lose again. Probably in overtime. He did win MVP though. Thank goodness. That means his overall is going to go up a lot. As you can see, he's an 89. It's okay that we're not an offensive player. I don't really mind that much. It just seems so hard to like make it on there. Like Adam Humphreys was the best receiver in the AFC. Jarvis Landry was ahead of us. There we are, at least in ninth. Our legacy score is going up really slow, though. This year, only 891 yards, 11 touchdowns. <laughs> we have nothing yet, no accolades. Wow, that's one crazy AFC Championship. Division rivals, both 13 and 3. We won! This means that we go to 3 consecutive Super Bowls. I promise you, it's just going to take that one breakout season. That's it. And this was it. 1,400 yards, 87 per game, 16 touchdowns. We definitely had to have made it onto Offensive Player of the Year. Baker had 4,300, so he's still doing his job. 45 touchdowns, 7 picks. He's an X Factor now, and he's a 94 overall. I might still test free agency, because if we go to a team with a good quarterback and not that many good receivers, we'll get more shine. 
MVP gonna go to Baker? Yep, I like it. Offensive player gonna go to Baker? Why did it pop up there like we did something crazy? Ah, that's why. Best receiver. Our legacy score went up 1,000 in that season. And we won our first Super Bowl. Not only is Jerry the best receiver to ever do it, you're paying for Super Bowl experience. Oh, we finally lost. Our streak of going to the Super Bowl officially ends, but that's three and three years still. Hey, we got contract offers. Bro, the only reason I came in here is to see who would give us some money. I want to go check the quarterbacks, bro. Now I'm in this situation. The Browns didn't even offer us a contract either, the bastards. Well, the Patriots have the best record, so I guess we're going to go with them. I have no idea who their quarterback is. That's what I'm saying. I would have liked to have checked, but I didn't get the chance. Our quarterback is Kenny Edwards, whoever this bloke is. He apparently led us to a 12-4 and record, so... He's trash. Roster looks pretty solid though. I'm not gonna lie. We got Nikhil Harry as well. Pretty good offensive, great offensive line. We're gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of our 10th season. Jordan Love is going to win the MVP. Dude is 90 overall. There's Kenny Edwards though. Okay, so I've got a little bit of faith now. He's an 88 overall. Offensive player gonna go to Kenny Edwards. Okay, so he's gonna get boosted up quite a bit. Best wide receiver is gonna go to Patrick Stovall though. We finish in second. Our legacy score is 10,000 though. If we have a couple more dominant years, we could very well catch Julio. But I mean mega dominant. Not like, you know, you did all right, buddy. About five and a half thousand left to go. We have won two Super Bowls. So we haven't won one since being with the Pats. Looking at our career stats, any huge C? Nearly 1,800 yards in 2029. That was just last season. 14 touchdowns, we averaged 111 a game. 2023, that was a really good season, but check this out. We have had multiple 1,300 yard seasons, multiple 1,200, one 1,100 season, and one 1,000. We have only finished under 1,000 yards one time, and that was that second season with the Browns. Currently 23,000 by Jerry Rice. We are not on this list as of yet. Calvin Johnson with just under 2,000. What a freak. That most recent season we had put us fifth all time. Oh, we got one job offer. Six. So nobody wants a 34-year-old uh, who's still 99, keep in mind. It's going to be the first career of a 99 where we go to three different teams. I'm looking for the team that has the best quarterback so we can finish in style. The Bills, Holden Hamlin looks like a beast. He's 92. There's only four quarterbacks that are 90 overall, and none of them are even 95. It's got to be the Jets, Bills, Bucks, or Cowboys. Ah, uh, out of all of those teams, it was just the Saints and the Bills. Okay, so we're still 99. Holder Hamlin's a 91. Got another receiver in Chris Lowry that should, you know, help us out a little bit. Other than that, this team's kind of ass. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> we have no offensive line. What? We didn't even make the playoffs, so? Ah, that's so bad. All right, so there's your prediction. 2035, the NFL is going to go out of business. We're not undrafted. Madden, bro. Come on. We finished with an 18,000 legacy score, 19th all time. That 2029 season was still our best, but in 2031, we did put up 1464, 13 Pro Bowl appearances. We did end up winning our six best wide receiver awards. All in all, we finished with 19,281 receiving yards, with only one of those seasons being under 1,000. 1,237 career receptions. We averaged 80.3 yards per game for our career. 177 touchdowns. Our longest reception was 92 yards, which was in the year 2029 and lastly 8477 yards after catch for a game we were not in the top 10 in terms of touchdowns or yards we only managed to get into the receiving yards for a season once we did however also make it into receiving touchdowns for a season which was the 2031 season with 18 and last but not least we finished 3614 yards behind jerry rice on the all-time receiving yard list. I'm pretty sure Jerry Rice played for way more years than Jalen did, so we probably would have overtaken him. In terms of touchdowns, we also finished second to Jerry Rice. 
missing by 20 touchdowns. With that being said, fellas, you made it this far into the video. You are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Hey, I love to talk. I don't talk. I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip me. I'm a let it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire. I just need my credit. Wanna go far. Need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet. Touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.